Hey, come on, show me your habitat list. I want to see all of Route 3's Pokemon. The ones in the tall grass, the ones you fish for, and the ones on the water. We can't do that yet either. It's so troublesome that you can't possibly have the trainer tips. The yellow button on the top of PC box is a, a switch group mode, a group move mode. It lets you move groups of Pokemon in your PC boxes. That was such a welcome addition. I love doing that whenever I'm reorganizing my boxes because I just, I gotta have everything all organized, you know? We'll go over this way. Got a hidden item over there, along with a trainer. Oh, it looks like we're fighting. Okay, that's fine. Jade hasn't really gotten to show her stuff yet. Last Shannon. You got a Vulpix. I don't gotta really try all that hard for this, unfortunately. Oh well. Speaking of not having to try. Here it is. We get a Nuck. I'm gonna be rolling in dough. I need to start spending all my money just so I can get closer to that 10 million spent. Now at the end of this route, welcome to Wellspring Cave. I thought we were gonna have a, like a flash requirement here, but we don't. Maybe it's a strength requirement and I'm gonna need that later? And we'll find out. For now, let's just get a move on. If I'm remembering right, there's some pretty tough fights in this place. So I wanna be careful going through it. Always dangerous when the hiker theme is involved. We feel, we feel, our, we feel filled with power when we're surrounded by our beloved stone. It's all about stones and bones with you people. Inside of Wellspring Cave is another rare encounter. You can find one of N's Pokemon, a Woobat that is always timid nature. We're not super likely to come into contact with that, so I thought I would just tell you about it. Hippowdon. All right, this thing is kind of tough. Got pretty high stats. I don't have a move that's effective against you. Outrage is neutral. Or do I go for Draco Meteor? Let's open with Draco Meteor and see how that goes for us. You got three Pokemon and potentially Outrage could last for two turns. I think that sounds a lot smarter. Uh, not great. Not gonna lie. Wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Uh, I'll finish you off with an Earthquake. And then we can just kind of see where we go from there. I think I was right staying in. It wasn't like you really did all that much. Marowak. Oh God, if that thing has a thick club. I, I remember when this thing was a competitive God. It was one of the largest buffs in Pokemon from Gen 1 to Gen 2. It was a factually outclassed Pokemon in Gen 1 and then they gave it the thick club and everything changed. Yeah, I one-shotted that, nice. And your last Pokemon is Rhydon, not a Rhyperior. And I somehow doubt that you had the foresight and resources to give that an Eviolite. Our Outrage, even with that huge amount of defense, we do about two thirds of its HP with a neutral attack. And we're gonna get a third turn of Outrage, not having to worry about the confusion. And even if we do, I got Persian Berries for days. I'm a drug lord of Joint Avenue. Please tell me that. Oh, that is stupid. Why is that? Why is that so stupid? Why do you get healed if the battle's over? Oh, stones, this can't be stones. I'm not the only one who gets excited by all this stone, my Pokemon do too. Keep telling yourself that, buddy. Get a Max Repel. And I'm gonna go reapply my berry. I'll move that to my free space. That's an item that I'm gonna be accessing often enough that, um, that I'd want it. So we're gonna have a bit of a long way through here. It's not that long of a cave, but like I said, we're gonna be fighting lots of stuff. So I guess I could just tell you a story that I was reminded of recently that I thought was really funny. So the day that Pokemon Let's Go came out, which I think is a decent game, you know, it's all right. Oh, trainer, you wanna learn a bitter lesson? Uh, you gonna throw me in the water if I lose? <laughs> the day that that came out, I wanted to play it at midnight, so I bought it on the eShop, and I think, okay, I'll go to the store tomorrow, and um, I'll pick up a, a physical Pokeball Plus then, because I was still playing Pokemon Go at the time, I wanted to own that thing. And they were selling it standalone, so I just decided to go that route. I go to the store the next day, and there's this kid working in the electronics section. I'm sure you can see where this is going. And he's like, yeah, we haven't opened the boxes yet, so um, I don't know when we're going to find that, but I'll keep opening boxes and I'll let you know when I find it. I wait around for about 30 minutes and he still hasn't done it. And so I eventually I go back up and I talk to him again thinking, okay, this has been going on for a while. Let me just see what's going on. And he's like, yeah, sorry, I still can't find it. And I'm like, do you have an ETA on that? He goes, two hours. And I'm like, 
why didn't you tell me that in the first place? I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking, and I go, okay, um, I got other errands, I gotta run, I'm gonna go do those, and then I'm gonna come back. So I do all that, and it just so happens that about two hours later, maybe a little less, I go back there, and he sees me, and he goes, oh, hey, I, I found the thing you want, and he hands me the bundle that has the game in it, and I go, no, I don't want that, um, I, it's not that, I don't want the game, I want the controller that is in there, and he goes, oh, I don't think we sell that standalone, I'm like, no, you do, here is your website, it says it right here, I need flash. Oh, Harmony! <laughs> This is so demeaning. Uh, no, nah, let's not nerf Harmony. Let's let's uh let's nerf McFly. McFly OP, please nerf. Get rid of your Thunder Wave for that. That fourth slot just kind of goes to whatever I happen to need. Open up our eyes. So uh, he goes, okay, yeah, I don't know where that is. Um, how about you wait around and I'll see what I can do. And I go, I have some things going on today. I don't know that I can continue waiting around for this. And he goes. What do you have going on that's so important anyway? Incredibly rude, and the thing that I had going on that day was, um, I had a handyman coming by who, this is incredibly a first world problem though, but he was going to hang up my golden play button award, and I didn't want to hang it up myself because it's 50 pounds and made of glass, I have one of the old ones that still had the glass sheet on it. I didn't want to risk hanging that up myself, I'd rather hire a professional for something that was that precious. So I tell him I have a handyman coming by to hang up some things for me, and he goes, wow, lazy, and I go, excuse me? And he goes, yeah, I said it, and I go, it's a giant plaque made out of glass that I don't want to break and it weighs 50 pounds. He goes, oh, okay then. And like does not apologize in any way, shape, or form, and I'm like, okay, and so I go, is this going to be a while? Because if so, I'm going to come back later. And he goes, yeah, it's probably going to be like another hour or two. And I'm like, okay, I'll come back later. So I come back later and he goes, oh, hey, you're back. So I found the thing that you wanted. And he hands me the bundle with the game again. And I go, no, I don't want the bundle with the game. I want just the controller standalone. He goes, oh, I don't think we have that. And I'm like, here is your website again. You do have it. It's a real thing. I promise I'm not crazy. And he goes, okay, I'm gonna look for it, and I'll let you know what I find. I'm like, ugh. But I just go around, and I look in another aisle, and from about two or three aisles away, I hear this kid go, oh! Like, very loudly, and I'm just, like, shifting my eyes confused, as are a couple of other people, and he, from all this distance away, he goes, my dude! My dude! And I realize that maybe he's talking to me, and I go, um, yes, and he goes, I found it! And sure enough, I got my controller and I got out of there and I never saw that kid working there again ever, even though I went to the store very regularly after that. So I'm guessing he didn't hold on to his job for very long. <laughs> but that was my bad retail employee experience with Nintendo products that we all have. We all have these experiences. We all hunted Amiibo at some point or another. We, I think everyone can relate. I laughed out loud when the Amiibo subreddit banned stories about bad retail employees. <laughs> I feel like for a time, just every thread must have been about that because of just retailers not understanding anything about Amiibo, and it's really, really funny. Anyway, um, we're going through a cave or something. <laughs> oh god, we have another trainer battle. Okay, fine. Are you sure you want someone like me? One moping around in a place like this? Dude, what's with the Yandere act? <laughs> I'm happily taken, thank you very much. Uh... Blaze is dating a freaking celebrity. She don't need you to feel good about herself, man. <laughs> it's important to be independent. Primeape is really freaking fast, but I'm also higher level than it, so I think I'm just gonna go to town on it. No need to switch out, just punch. Jade, you're making me so proud of you. Primeape does not have the most defense, though, but you handle that situation like a gem. Hitmonchan's pretty big on defense. Going for it to Oh, that's bad. I don't know if that interrupts my outrage. Regardless, I became confused due to fatigue. We'll... We'll go for the Draco Meteor here. Oh, you're doing Focus Punch! This thing's a troll. That Hitmonchan sprite still haunts me in my nightmares because uh, a long time ago, like like we're talking 15 years ago, I did competitive Pokemon in Gen 4 and I wouldn't say that I was super good or anything. I knew a thing or two, but I wouldn't say that I was like a super good battler. And I remember that my one of my first losses ever was to a Hitmonchan. Um, 
he was just super good at calling to tax and using focus punches on really good turns. Um, if the guy's still out there, I remember that his username in game was Tuba. It, you went for the triple detect and actually got it. You are reminding me a little too much of this. You're, this is me reliving that match all over again. You are just doing everything in your power. I can't use my outrage strats because I know that you're gonna keep getting detected. Scrafty. I'm gonna swap, uh, you got dark type moves. I think I'll stick with Jade. Uh, we'll do an outrage. Dragon gem outrage would be a good strat too. You got focus punch. There that goes. Are we gonna get it? No, we don't. We gotta anticipate it. We gotta cher cherish it. We gotta remember it. Keep it with us at all times. TM47 Low Sweep. That is a physical fighting type move that does damage and lowers your opponent's speed stat. That move is nasty to run into against certain opponents. There's a certain trainer in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire that spells the end for speedrunners because suddenly his Machop outspeeds you when it previously didn't and it can combo attack you. McFly can learn it. I wanna know something. If I overwrite Flash while I am using it, do I still get the benefit? Yes, I don't even have to know Flash to be able to see in a dark room. Always learning new things about Pokemon. Our hidden item is a Carbos. And then we'll go this way, grab this, getting a, I thought this said a Protractor, no, a Protector. Protector is a held item that you equip to ride on and then trade it to evolve into Rhyperior. Strong Pokemon that has a signature, um, not quite a signature ability, Camera Up can have it as well, but near signature ability of Solid Rock, lowers super effective damage to 1.3 times and quad effective damage to 2.6, making it a lot more viable than it would be being a Ground Rock type. It's also the only Pokemon family that is Ground Rock type instead of Rock Ground type. I know all too much about Pokemon. And then I do, th and then, well, I say I know all too much about Pokemon, and then I did the Cerebi crossword this morning and uh, got put in my place. Anything down this way now? Just a shortcut back to start. You could skip a lot of this floor if you just surfed up here. It's good to know. We got a veteran, and then there's a hidden item up this way. You can see me from that distance, holy crap, and I have not healed. These Pokemon were born on the same day and raised together. We got a breeder over here, what do you got? Full team of six, all right, we're in for it, Gyarados. Jade is not going to be a good risk right here. She can suck up that Intimidate so that we can swap out for McFly. If you weren't a water type, I might have gone for the Crustal Sweep and I might try to pull that off at some point in this fight just to see how well we can get it going. Waterfall, yeah, I was right to switch out. Oh, uh, wow, that hurt. Thunder Punch. Time six damage with your face on it. Punched you in the face and everything. Gyarados goes down. What's your next Pokemon? You gonna go for Revenge Go level 69? There it is. Gigalith. So Gigalith, you got sturdy for your ability more than likely. I think I'm gonna go for the Brick Brick and just deal with the fact that you probably have Earthquake. Chip down your ability and then that'll be a primo time. Oh, no, you went for Stone Edge. You're still gonna get the KO, but I'm a little surprised. Critical hit, necessary, sure. I could go for Aiden or I could go for the Crustal Sweep. I think I'm gonna go for the Crustal Sweep as I haven't gotten a chance to do it in a while and I feel like I just go for Aiden so often. It makes sense to do, um, Gigalith has got low special defense, but I just really wanna see if I can get a Crustal Sweep going and this is a battle against a team of six, so no better time than now. Special defense, got attack, got special attack, stone it, I, I can set up again. All right, we're at plus four. I am absolutely getting smacked right here with some really mean damage. No, I'm not. I'm not greedy enough to go for the plus six. I might need that health later, depending on what he's got in his team. Let's go for the plus four earthquake. Oh, you are ground to dust. <laughs> Get it? Ground to dust. I even have sand in my back, so it's extra fitting. Dredigan. 
You have rough skin for your ability. I don't want to get hurt by that, so I'm going to go for the earthquake. No chance. We're about to get a level up, too. Excadrill! I got a type effective move against you. There's no sandstorm active. Want to lay down a sandstorm? By all means, I get a defense buff from it, and I'm very lacking in that co in that right now. Doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Finally, Stone Edge accuracy is working for me and not against me. My revenge, Snorlax. X's are pretty sure is 80 power. Yeah, it is. Which means that against a neutrally effective Pokemon, Xizzer is going to do more damage than Earthquake thanks to our same type attack bonus. Let's go for it! Can I one-shot Snorlax? I can. Lasagna, you are awesome. We are so freaking powerful lately. It's been so satisfying just using this team and getting it... Oh, thanks. I'm faster than a Crobat, by the way. I just wanted to point that out. That's not something that you typically see. Rock Slide, finally. Good. If I could pull this off in a double battle and hit multiple opponents with these with that buffed rock slide, having plus speed, getting to flinch opponents I otherwise wouldn't. Oh, you're pretty good. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks a lot. Max Revive. Got over 50 of those suckers now. Feeling good. And then our item at the end of the tunnel. TM52 Focus Blast. Speaking of moves which accuracy works against you all of the time, that's one of them. Focus Blast is a special fighting type move with 120 power and I think 80 accuracy, 70 accuracy, even worse. Can lower the opponent's special defense if you can even land the thing in the first place. McFly can learn it. I have Brick Break. I'm even, I even got low sweep right now. It's not worth it. I want to look up what McFly can learn real quick. See if there's anything in here that I might want to give him. I don't really have a lot of status, you know? Hear me out. I got a fun idea. Sometimes McFly is a really good switch in against electric types. He has an immunity, he gets plus speed from being hit by it. But I tend to go for Jade because she's better at countering electric types. So that tends to not get used very much, but I have an idea that I think might cause it to be used more. We're gonna learn the move Light Screen. I would have preferred Reflect thanks to McFly having one weakness against ground type Pokemon and those tend to attack physically, but it can't learn it. Only a Harmony across our team is able to learn Reflect. So I'm gonna throw on Light Screen and just have that. I still like the Magnet is his held item as his electric attacks are a little bit lacking. All of this checks out. I think that's pretty good. I'll meet you by the exit. I got escape reps, what am I doing? Ooh, creating a whirlpool. There's no HM for that in universe, so that cave is just screwed now. Okay, back out in Route 3. We've done a lot of exploring. We proved ourselves in some challenging fights. We're doing great. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we continue exploring Route 3 and find the daycare. See you guys then.